I want to encourage someone today, this morning, afternoon. I want to encourage you because I want you to understand that um, when you see that when, when when you trust in God and God is telling you not to worry and have no fear and 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 just believe in Him, and you just looking at your circumstances. Remember in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, um, verse 26, when it was in the fourth hour and uh, in the middle of the night and the raging and the storm was in the, you know, in the, in the uh, water, the sea was rising and, and, the, and the disciples were in the boat and they seen Jesus. Jesus walked up, was walking on water and they looked out there and they seen him. They didn't even know it was him. They said, is that a ghost? And the thing was, is that Peter, he said, uh, he said that if, if it is you, Jesus, then call me out of the boat, you know, call me to come to you. And, and the thing is, is that we, you know, we, we always want to test God and, and we want to say, you know, if, 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 if you really are going to take care of this, if you're really going to do this, then do this or do that. And he's steady telling us to trust him. And so anyways, Peter said, if it really is you, then Jesus, then call me out of the boat, you know, and. And, and, and Jesus said, fear not, it is me. So then uh, Jesus caught him out of the boat and Peter started walking toward him. And then all of a sudden Peter started looking around as we look at our circumstances and we're looking around at everything and we're saying, man, I'm sinking. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't see this, I don't, which we're supposed to look at it in a spiritual, spiritual realm and not in the natural, but we're looking around and we're seeing our circumstances. So then we start to start to disbelieve. We start to not trust in God. And so and he said, help, you know, he was, he was like, help. And then Jesus reached out his hand and, you know, and, and, and grabbed him. And, uh, he was, of course, then he was, you know, he was okay. But the thing is, is that when we look at our circumstances and we, and we looking around us and we're not trusting God, a lot of times, sometimes you can even look back at what Jesus has done for you. Look back on your life, over your life and trust him or believe him and take him at his word. He's, he, he keeps his promises. He's not a man that he should lie. So the thing is, is that he's going to always come through no matter what. The thing is, is that everything is out of our control. We get up every day and we go in and out of our day. We have our day planned, but we don't know just instantly that day can change. The only thing we're in control of is if we want to trust God or if we don't. That's our biggest control. That we could, That's the only thing that you can control, basically. So you have no choice but to lean on God and trust him. You do have a choice. You can either worry, fear. But that's not God. Have faith. So the next time that worry comes up, believe and trust God. And believe him and take him at his word. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.